y'all already know what it is today is monday it's the second of january um dave Chappelle show last night so good the openers were were good too i know like being an entertainer whether you're uh whether you're an artist um well they're all artists i would say right but like whether you're into music whether you are an actor whether you're a comedian whatever all these jobs are actually really hard like it takes a lot like it takes a lot just for people to make youtube videos and this is the reason why like a lot of people don't want to make youtube videos because you're actually putting yourself out there to be critiqued right and it's so crazy how like the people who critique you the most are the people who will never put themselves out there so shout outs to anybody like literally anybody who's putting themselves out there that's making content that don't have their instagrams on private that don't do anything like i just want my friends to see you know what i mean like for putting yourself out there because you are literally like you're literally putting yourself out there to be critiqued shout outs to the open and acts they all were really really good like i said i i really enjoyed the night it ended at about 11 o'clock it started the doors opened at 8 and it ended at about yeah about 11 i would i it didn't even end at 11 because i it, it ended a, i think it ended about 10 30 but like we stayed in the scotia center just for people to kind of like clear out of the scotia center and stuff like that like we stayed we stayed a good like 20 minutes behind so just to let people clear out of the stadium i would say the show ended at about 10 30 still such a good show you guys um i had such a great time my hair was looking cute and everything like that so i ended up keeping it in i'm hoping that like the sun comes out or something that i can do some sort of content on ig and then i posted some contact on content on tiktok because i'm trying to do this whole hashtag black girl follow train type of thing and i've heard that it's worked from the videos that i've seen on with this hashtag with this hashtag with this hashtag it seems to be working for people so i'm like let me just see if i can jump on it and just get some momentum um even if i don't necessarily get the followership but if i get the views because the views are what really matters on all these platforms right it's not really about it's not really about how much people are subscribed to it's really just about how many views that you're getting right so i'm gonna jump on that so i posted some videos today with that and those hashtags in there just to see what's happening so i'm gonna see so i don't know if i showed you guys these before but these are new earrings that i have and i'm gonna be launching them for valentine's day right i have them in a, a whole bunch of different colors i have them in the blue i have them in a whole bunch of different colors but i want to launch um, the fuchsia, the red, the lavender, and the champagne color first for Valentine's Day. I got weights from Amazon, and I should have showed you guys. I got these weights from Amazon. I'm gonna insert a picture here, and I don't know why my mind didn't, my mind and the image didn't connect because, as you can see in the photo, the girl has big weights, like they're big, right? I don't know why those two didn't connect. I don't know why when I was reading the comments. I just like it would just went like completely over my head that like these are big weights like they're not like the weights that i use right now they're actually like it's big like they're big so i'm gonna be rich so i already printed off the label to return them because they're they're big to the point where i'm just like it's it's inconvenient for me to use so let me just bring it back the price is good for what you're getting for the price is amazing but it's just it just doesn't work for me i just placed an order with sephora for um my new mascara you guys know my favorite mascara is the sephora collection mascara i placed a new order for that i got more retinol in one percent and then i got a uh, hyaluronic hilo whatever acid i got that to help with my under eye circles i'm supposed to see my uh my dermatologist this week i'm supposed to see her i believe on thursday um just to see because my scar is still dark in my mind anyway like what it was before um it was less visible before because of the scarring tissue but anyways um when i go see her i'm gonna ask her if i can start using the retin-a and if the retin-a would help with the discoloration a little bit it's a scar it's a scar it's gonna be there um and that's really just what it is but what's going on you guys it's your girl today is wednesday january 4th i just came back from the dermatologist and um we did an update on my scar and everything seems to be okay so i know i haven't really been talking about it but i have like videos and everything pre-recorded um of me just in like complete distress and everything like that because i did the prp and that essentially helps to minimize your scars and everything like that and i did it for my scar because why else would I be doing it, right? So I initially went into for a consultation to help minimize my scar. Anyways, um, pretty much it went, it went, the nurse assigned to, to me, 
did not do my procedure well. Um, she caused a lot more damage than anything else. You guys, my scar, and I'm pretty sure if you watch some of my videos and if you're paying attention, you can probably catch it, but my scar was literally like, I'm an NC45 in MAC, and my scar was literally like an NC65, like an NC70. Like that's literally what my scar was because of how much damage was done. My dermatologist had to take over my case. Um, and I think, I think, either way, that girl that was working on me, she no longer works there. So just put it that way. I don't know what had transpired. I don't know if she left or if she was actually, but I'm not entirely sure, but she's no longer working there. Right? I ended up getting a refund for my procedure. Now, if you're familiar with the PRP procedure, it's not... It's not a Mickey Mouse rocks the house type of procedure. It's not no $75 procedure. This procedure is very expensive. My uh, dermatologist was completely apologetic about it. She was just, she was, she herself was upset about it. She, she apologized to me. She admitted that she should have been managing my case a lot better and all like, you know, whatever. We're kind of being told like, we kind of fucked up sis so <laughs> over the last i would say eight months we've been using bleaching cream we've been using all type of creams and all type of serums to kind of get my scar back to to get my skin back to what it was before i got there all right so there is no improvement to my scar <laughs> because everything like there's there's no improvement to my scar pretty much there was so much discoloration that we had to use two different type of bleaching creams so all these type of serums specialized things to pretty much get my scar where it is so my scar looks a lot better than what it was um it is still a little bit dark around this side so she prescribed me with another bleaching cream that is superior to the other two that i was using just to kind of get it back in place sis but i got retin-a before but because I was using one of the bleaching creams, um, I was unable to use this because it just would have been too much. It would have been too much going on for my skin. Like my skin probably would have went in shock type of thing, right? So I'm going to start using Retin-A. Um, and this Retin-A expires in August 2024. So I still have a good amount of time to use this. And she gave me refills for this. I think she gave me like three refills because she's like retin-a is really really good for your skin and da, 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 da. so i'm just going to give you enough that you have for a lengthy period of time so shout outs to her for that but yeah so that's why i'm here um like i said i do have videos i'm probably going to post those videos eventually like i'm going to do like a whole like summary and post those video eventually and yeah and then i got some rings yesterday so i got these two new rings these rings are new these are two separate rings i got them yesterday they're stainless steel gold plated and then i think i showed you guys this one I have to package an order. I've also been trying this thing on Instagram. It's like the black girl follow train. Just now when I came home, I checked the mailbox. I got a new top coat for my um, for my nails. So originally I was using just regular. Let me show you guys. This is the Born. I used the Born Pretty top coat, but I use it in the Super Shine top coat. So um, I just got the big bottle so I can just do refills. Let me show you guys what the bottle actually looks like. So you guys know like I'm really big on like Venelisa and stuff like that. But Venelisa's top coat, it doesn't give me the shine. It just doesn't give me the shine that I want in my nails. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is what the bottle, the actual bottle looks like if you were to buy it. It says top coat, whatever, right? And then it says super coat. This makes my nails super, super, super shiny. And the top coat from Ben Elisa, I just don't like it in general. I just don't like that top coat. So I noticed it was getting low and I'm like, let me go buy another bottle. But then when I factored in how much I'm paying for the bottle, I think this bottle is like maybe, maybe five bucks, maybe a little bit more than five dollars. And then it's plus shipping. So shipping isn't free, right? So there's an additional cost to shipping. So by the time I calculated, I was like, girl, I might as well just buy the big bottle. And in this big bottle, I'm getting nine fluid ounces. And in here, I'm getting 0.24 fluid ounces. So 0.249. $5 plus shipping, $30 free shipping. It just makes sense. And this, guys, look at this. This is like, this is going to last me forever. Um, I bought that. I'll link it down below for you guys so you guys can check it out. But yeah, I bought that. This is what it looks like. Born Pretty Functional Gel. I don't know why it says functional gel, but hey, they know, right? Oh, there we go. Super coat. Right? With the top. Okay. 
It's your girl. You guys, today is Saturday. December. Oh my goodness, there's so much. So I still haven't done, you guys are hearing all this crunching and everything because I still haven't done um, my Valentine's Day. And I'm like, there's so many things on my desk right now. It's ridiculous. All right, so I don't know where I left off yesterday, you guys. I know that I told you guys that I went to go see my dermatologist and I went to go see my surgeon for my fibroids. I'm gonna get into the whole fibroid thing at a later date. I'm taking off my nails too. Matter of fact, since I, oh, I forgot to get that from the friggin' kitchen. So I went, let me go get it because it's just gonna bother me. I had went to go do the PRP surgery. It went terrible, it went bad. Um, and pretty much she gave me a whole refund for the procedure she just gave me all my money back and then we were working on bringing it back to what it was before i saw her right so anyways uh we're here now you guys can see like it's still there um it is there is like a distinct color around it where it wasn't like that before i don't know how this video is going to be when i'm editing it but whatever um i can see it right now it's like a little distinct discoloration right there like it's really really it's maybe she says that it's about like three percent i think that is maybe like five to ten percent difference in color um and then you guys know i had this here and this was for from a pimple that i'm trying to get rid of but anyways so anyways you guys yesterday i went to go see her we're discussing a scar whatever she has prescribed me with another bleaching cream that is stronger than the other two um just because i don't like the fact that my skin texture there's a difference in color because when i went to go see her my skin texture was one color everything was one color it's just the texture was different right like um the like when when i had my stitches done the stitches were like we're talking like 20 we're talking like 30 years ago, literally. I don't know what the fuck they were doing 30 years ago. When you really think about it, 30 years to now, nobody knew what they were doing, okay? Um, so, the, so the scar was kind of like choppy. It wasn't really smooth, like you know what I mean. So that, so that was done, and that's great. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more smooth, not as smooth as I would like, but it's smoother than it was before. And um, I don't like the fact that when I went to you, my my skin complexion was one color, although the texture was different. It was one color, and now there's a color difference like that doesn't sit well with me if you everybody's different some people wouldn't care i care because one it's a scar not not that it's just scar but it's it, it's, it's a scar in an area that you that i can't avoid like i can have like how can i say this the scar is the scar is in a visible area do you know what I mean? It's not like it's a scar over here. It's not like it's a scar over here. It's not like it's a scar over here. Like it's a scar in the center of my face. So obviously I don't want to add more attention to a scar that's already in the center of my face with a discoloration. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to do that to myself. So anyways, she prescribed me with another bleaching cream that is stronger than the other two that I was using. Yes, the other two bleaching creams that I was using. She's like, I'm pretty sure in like two weeks you would see a difference, right? This is what she's saying. I haven't gone and gotten the bleaching cream yet because she was like, honestly, Tari, she's like, just be gentle with yourself with this one. That's what she said. Like, be gentle with yourself with this one. Like, just be gentle with yourself with this one. So um, the fact that for the last couple of months, I wasn't using the Retin-A that she had prescribed because I was using the heavy duty, the other bleaching cream, um, I wasn't using the Retin-A because um, the pharmacist, okay, so, okay. Now that I'm not using the previous bleaching cream, I'm gonna start using the Retin-A. I wasn't able to use the Retin-A before because the previous bleaching cream, is a strong bleaching cream <laughs> i mean they're all strong right like at this point i'm just like what's the difference sis you might as well have given me the strongest of them all like you know what i'm trying to say but anyways but anyways i get what why she did it because take things in steps right like there was already a mishap let's not do a secondary mishap so i get where she was coming from in regards to that so anyways um so the bleaching cream i was using before i got it from a compound pharmacist so when I was using that bleaching cream, the compound and specialist who makes the cream was like, hey, just an FYI, he's like, I wouldn't really advise using um, the Retin-A and the bleaching cream together. You should speak to your dermatologist. But he's like, but if she is prescribing you to use the bleaching cream twice a day, morning and night, he's like, using this would just be too much for your skin. He's like, your skin would it would not be a good, like you wouldn't have a good result. So he's like, I would just say, he's like, I would say if you want to use the Retin-A, use the Retin-A at night, use the bleaching cream um, 
use a retin use a retin a at night use a bleach cream in the morning he's like that would he's like that's what i would prescribe but then again it would take your skin longer to fade right so that was my option so i'm like no i'm more concerned with my skin tone being even um than i am with you know you know what i'm trying to say so anyway so now i'm using the retin a i started using it for the last two days um and i i'm supposed to use this five days out of the week um at night i use it i don't use it in the morning i use it on i put it on my forehead my cheeks my nose and my chin that's it that's the only places i'm supposed to be using it and that was what was prescribed for me to do so anyways you guys i did get a package from sephora this morning um i ordered some ordinary products and i ordered it because i needed my favorite mascara you guys know this this is my favorite mascara i'm gonna say this and every every time i grab this mascara i'm gonna be saying it because it really is i don't know what it is about it i it, it's the brush it's definitely the brush i don't even think it's the formula i just think it's the brush i love I, it, this is my jam and it's this one i don't really like the purple one i prefer this one and then i had ordered retinol in the one percent so you guys know i have the 0.5 now i have the uh point one i don't know why i got the one percent and i said this in the other video where i'm like i'm not going to order retinol anymore because i'm going to be using the retin-a and here i go ordering the retinol and then i did end up getting the hyaluronic acid plus b5 and i bought it to mix it into my face moisturizer at night because i went ahead and i bought the pons facial moisturizer this is for dry skin and I don't need my facial moisturizer to do anything aside from just giving me hydration. You know what I mean? So I was just like, whatever. I saw Pons was on sale. I saw it was on sale for six bucks. Um, you get a hundred mil in here. Sorry, 180 mils in here. So I was just like, this is so much cheaper than the, like, let me just buy it. And then if anything, if anything, I can mix in the hyaluronic acid. If anything, I can mix in my vitamin C powder that I got for, for facials and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, I can do that because really all I need is a basic moisturizer. And then I went ahead and I got the Pond's Cold Cream. I have not used this one before. Um, it's just the one with the yellow, uh, I'm sorry, yellow, with the mint top. Um, I haven't used this one before. I know that it is similar to the, I think the NYX Face Balm. It's similar to that. I still, I think I still have one more thing of the NYX. I think so. And if I do, I'll probably just gift it or something if like I don't want to use it. But normally what I use to take off my, um, my mascara and stuff, I use the Sephora waterproof makeup remover. I use that just to take off my eye makeup, like to soak off my mascara and everything because I know that like when I've tried the 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 NYX balm on for my for my eyes, it doesn't take off like it, it does more damage than good. So I use a Sephora makeup remover just to re remove my eyes and then everything else. I'm going to start going in with this. Um, some people say that they use this every night before they wash their face. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing all that, but I bought it to try. So we shall see. And uh, my hair is washed and everything. I washed it last night. I just slicked it back. I'm going to go on IG because I need to show these Valentine's Day earrings. Ugh, I need to. Like, I need to. It's, it's, we're going on the second week of January and I haven't done it. Like, when are people going to see the product so that they can purchase it for Valentine's Day? You know what I mean?